Hi everyone, this here is the first FPT Cursor 16 1000 horsepower marine engine that is run in Australia. What we'll do here is I'll take you on a bit of a walk around video around the motor, show you a few of the features and benefits of the Fiat powertrain technology or FPT Cursor 16 and we'll give it a run for you. Sounds good, let's have a look. So the first thing you notice about the FPT Cursor 16 is for a 15.9 litre 1000 horsepower engine just how compact it actually is. So overall length, excluding the exhaust riser, you're looking at just under 1900 millimetres long. The overall width, as I swing around, you'll see is approximately 1200 millimetres wide at the widest point, and overall height is just over 1100 millimetres high. And from the center line of crank down to the underside of the sump, it's only 360 mil. So it is a very shallow sumped engine, which is great for twin installations and also any boats uh, which are very shallow in design or jet applications. This engine here, you'll see has what's called the beauty pack fitted. It is available from FPT, but I'll be honest, it is an extra price for the beauty pack, if so desired, which is the top cover and also the front cover fitted. The FPT Cursor 16 is available in four horsepower ratings, 1,000 horsepower at 2,300 RPM, which is available for good for 1,000 hours per year for a light commercial rating. Perfect for things like cray fishing boats, com light commercial vessels, charter boats, that kind of thing. It's also available at 900 horsepower at 2,300, 815 horsepower at 2,300, and 650 horsepower at 2,300 RPM. It weighs in at 1,690 kilos dry weight for the engine alone. So it is a very light engine. And torque out of this inline six cylinder is fantastic at over 3,500 Newton meters of torque. And it is a very flat torque curve if you look at the performance curve. Uh, that torque really hangs on for a long time, which is, is great for heavier vessels. So let's have a look at a few features on this particular engine. You can see here that we have twin whole set turbochargers, one side mounted. They're both wet coolers, so they have a water-cooled jacket uh, around the outside of the turbochargers and one rear-mounted here. The two exhaust systems come together and join out of a single 12-inch mixer, which I'll actually just pan across to show you here sitting on the bench. Now, of course, there is the opportunity for an installer to extend the gap between the, the dry face and before the water injection to therefore lift it up if a higher mixer is required to ensure it's well above waterline. Um, so that, in a nutshell, is quite simply the turbocharger setup. From there, the boost pipes join together just underneath here, and they run simply straight down and straight into our, our air to water intercooler. And from there, it travels directly straight up. There is a small little grid heater tucked way in behind there and straight into the cylinders. So it's a very short run of boost piping. So the boost does come on very, very quickly. Uh, you can see that we run some Donaldson air cleaners, which are a washable air cleaner on the rear, um, on both of them on this side here. As I move on to a few other features, we can see here that we have the two spin-on oil filters here, nice and easily accessible in that regard. Um, by chance, directly beneath it, you can see here that we have the gearbox oil cooler. Now, a lot of engines don't come with gearbox oil coolers fitted. This FPT Curse 16 does, and it makes it very easy to simply hook on the two gearbox oil lines. And this is on the seawater circuit. It's actually the last point before the water discharges. As you can see, we've got the hose running on it at the moment. Uh, looking further around the front of the engine here, a lot of the electronics have actually been simplified on the new FPT motor. So we have the diagnostics port just here. All that we have to go within the engine room is a single box here, which allows you to start and stop the engine within the engine room. Um, from there, the only other thing that travels electronically up here, you would have an extension harness put in to whatever required length, and it will run straight up to the digital control panel. I'll turn that on now and we'll come back to that in just a moment. As I come around the other, the rear of the engine, these are an SAE1 bell housing with a 410 inch flywheel. Just above here, this is the Donaldson breather system, uh, which allows any engine breathing from the rocker cover to come down through and in. There is an internal filter in here. Any oil travels back to sump down the line there. 
and any air flows back into this rear mount turbocharger. We have a cartridge fuel filter at the rear. This is actually the second fuel filter. There is a primary fuel filter that does come with every engine as well. And we recommend that there's a Raycor primary fuel filter in front of that as well, which just gives you a good look at fuel condition even before it hits anything FPT branded. Little fuel nipple on the top for bleeding the fuel up nice and easy from there. Now, this is the first Cursor engine that comes with common rail fuel injection. So you can see here we have the Bosch fuel injection pump. Uh, it's divided into the fuel inlets just here, which runs around straight into the low pressure pump. Then it travels up through the filter, back down into the high pressure pump, which then supplies the lines. You can see a little line tucked in there, straight into the head to the six injectors. As we're here and we look further down, here we have the potentiometer. This means that if you do currently have a mechanical engine and you want to stay with mechanical throttle cables, very easy. They just simply hook on and lock in on the cable sheath here and connect on to one of the three holes on the potentiometer. If on the Cursor 16 you want to run electronic controls, fantastic, no worries. Flick, open this, flick it across, the potentiometer will no longer operate and you'll be able to receive a CAN bus signal from something like the Flexball uh, throttles, which is a fully electronic system. We'll flick that back there so we can give it a rev shortly. As we come down, 24 volt starter motor, just tucked under here is the water inlet, and that water pump is tucked nice and neatly in behind. Now don't be concerned, these are a bronze impeller pump, which are driven off a shaft uh, off the rear of the timing case tucked in the back there so there is no requirement to access those seawater pumps on a regular basis as we come here this here is a fuel cooler which is the return line of the fuel which comes out here and in and then it returns back to tank up the top here and up the top here is where we have the fresh water he water seat sorry fresh water seawater heat exchanger we have the fresh water through the top component and a tube stack which runs through here with seawater as well um, before it discharges out the back on the other side. As I come around the front of the engine, um, you get another good look at just how compact these motors are in regards to the design of the coolers. It keeps everything very easily accessible, but also very compact and close and tucked into the engine, which is again, amazing for twin engine installations or any tight engine room. So without further ado, you can see this is the thermostat here on the front of the motor uh, and also an option with the Cursor 16s is to tie it into a hot water system on board the vessel if so required. So now without further ado what we'll do is we'll just simply turn the key just here and I'll set this up to show you the panel. This here is the deluxe panel. We also have the option, and more commonly, the deluxe compact panel, but you can see the amount of parameters that are available to be accessed on the FPT panel. Um, exhaust gas temperature is now standard. Turbo boost pressure, coolant temperature, you can see that we're starting from cold. Engine load percentage, engine RPM, oil temperature, oil pressure, fuel rate, and battery voltage. We can also flick through and it brings you up a few um, sort of alarms you might say anything in green is obviously okay and we can further go into the alarms and it will bring us up any alarms on the engine so no matter where you are operating this engine from you've got all the information required in front of you and digital format if you so like the look of that uh, in preference to the old analog format A very quiet engine for a 16 litre motor. Right, I'll give it a rev so you can have a listen. Right running. Life is at 600 RPM with the Cursor 16.
ladies and gentlemen, is the FPT Cursor 16 1000 horsepower marine engine. This is the engine we've been waiting years for and we're so glad to finally have them. We're sure you'll appreciate one. If you're interested or you think this might be the engine for your vessel, please get in touch. Thanks very much.